today we have for you a very very important session so what is today's session about well I know that a lot of you have your vacations that are already going on or some of you are probably going to be uh, approaching your vacations so what we're going to do today is basically talking about how you can use this vacation time much much better by inculcating five really useful habits now first of all let's analyze what exactly is a habit right a habit is something that we keep doing all the time right we do it so much that then we don't have to think about it it's like for example brushing our teeth now brushing our teeth is our teeth is a habit that we've inculcated and it's a good habit right right but the thing is that apart from a whole lot of good habits that we have sometimes we have some negative habits also bad habits also so for example i have this really bad habit of biting my nails now i know i should not do it and i'm really trying to break out of this habit so uh this is basically something that we're going to be talking about today we're not going to be talking about how to break away from bad habits but we're going to be talking about how to do a very positive thing how to develop or inculcate five really good habits so that by the time you are done with your vacation you are set for the year now the thing is that most people say that a habit takes some time to form do you know that research says that it takes actually 21 days to form a habit which means if you keep doing the same thing again and again and again and again for 21 days you know it actually becomes a habit so uh, i don't know whether that's true some people say 21 days some people say it takes longer but what i'm guessing over here is that if you keep doing something that you don't need to think about it it becomes part of your you know your personality it becomes part of your behavior and then once that a part that's a part of your behavior you're set for life especially if it's a good habit so let's talk about five habits that we are going to learn to inculcate during our vacation right okay habit number 1 reading do you know that there is a very famous quotation that says readers are leaders and who doesn't want to be a leader right so reading is a very very important thing because this is how you pick up new knowledge new information so what are some of the things that we can do to pick up this particular habit well the first thing that i would say is that we need to set a practice of reading at least 30 minutes a day which means that we need to take some time out and devote those 30 minutes to reading now i know that some of you will probably say ah oh, but i don't like to read so i am saying that it doesn't have to be something that you don't like it doesn't have to be something that you are going to find boring if you're starting with you know the practice of reading 30 minutes start with something that's going to interest you pick up maybe a fiction or non fiction or mystery books or fantasy books or general knowledge books whatever it is that interests you it's absolutely fine as long as you pick up that book and make sure that you're reading for at least 30 minutes a day right now what you could also do this is i find this a very very helpful method is that you could actually maintain a sort of a journal now how does a journal help us journal is always meant for writing stuff right so basically whenever you find something that is really interesting to you or something that you don't want to forget right immediately when you've read it jot it down in your reading journal so what happens later on is sometimes when you're just flipping through that journal you go back to that point and you're like ah this is what i read and it's like refreshing that memory all over again also sometimes what happens is that then when you found something interesting you don't want to go back to the whole book and read all 100 pages of the book right so keeping that journal will help you to actually jot down the things that you find memorable or you find interesting or you find knowledgeable right okay with that next habit to inculcate is whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. physical activity now why is physical activity important physical activity is very very important because a fit mind means uh, a fit body means a fit mind so what what am i trying to say by this i'm basically saying that when we are active when we are fit then it helps us a lot with our stress management now all i'm saying is i know probably at this point in time some of you will say i don't have stress and some of you will probably say no ma'am there's a lot of stress because exams are coming up and now this year is a very tough year so all i'm saying is a way to manage that that stress or that worry about exams or the worry about all the difficult subjects that you may have to tackle is to actually be active and fit because a fit body leads to a fit mind a fit mind is a calm mind so what should we do for this 
engage in any sort of uh, physical activity outdoor activities i think is a very very good thing to do so for example sports or hiking or cycling or football or cricket or whatever it is that works for you go ahead and do it as long as you are physically you know engaging in some sort of activity this second point that i'm going to be talking about is actually very is is a point that i find personally very very helpful i feel like when i'm out in nature it really helps me to reset so i'm saying go out take a walk you know be in the garden full of flowers or uh, you know walk around the lane which is full of trees and you will really find that you get that energy and you come out feeling much much calmer oh another thing that i really like to do when we're talking about nature is sometimes i like to take a walk around the, the seaside so again if it depends on which city you live in uh, when when i go to mumbai i have the sea over there when i'm in bangalore i don't have the sea over here but basically i'm saying spend time in nature this is very very important also how much should we exercise Well I would say 45 minutes to about an hour every single day would be a good idea to do so you're not basically sitting and becoming like a couch potato even if you're doing 45 minutes to 1 hour maybe 5 times a week I'd say that's still good but make this a habit which means that you need to again set time aside for this to actually be doing this every single day right very healthy habit to have okay third thing is creativity now what is creativity creativity is basically thinking outside the box creativity is all about uh, looking at things in a new way looking at things with a new chashma finding solutions to problems right so that's what creativity is all about how can we become more creative well first of all i would say just express okay sometimes what we tend to do is we tend to you know limit ourselves by saying oh but if i say this then this is not logical this is not practical i'm saying creativity is about free free flowing of thoughts right so explore that creative side either through art or through writing or which means journaling you could even do it through craft anything that you know is interesting for you definitely go ahead and do it but like i said do not judge yourself and say oh but this is so silly or no this is not practical this is this doesn't happen in reality creativity is about enjoying that flowing process so go ahead and do that right okay once again as i've said for all the other habits before you have to actually set aside time for this because we know that the more we keep doing something the more it becomes a part of us the more it becomes a habit so set aside some time to actually engage in some sort of creative expression whatever expression it is that you choose to do and uh, once again express yourself through writing stories poems journals craft whatever you want just go with the flow and see how the magic happens right okay with that we have the next one which is learning something new now i think this is very important in fact at byjuice we always say come fall in love with learning learning is so very important learning helps us to experience and our knowledge and the more knowledge we pick up uh, sometimes we don't even realize we're picking up that knowledge but when we pick up that knowledge later on when we're actually using it in daily life it feels so amazing so this could be some sort of uh, you know uh, information could be skills it could be anything so how can you learn something new well i would say a very good place to start would be to pick up something that you don't know and then actually start uh, you know doing that so for example I don't like to say this very much but uh, I'll tell you the secret is that I don't know how to ride a cycle right so I have promised myself that I'm going to go ahead and learn how to ride the cycle now that is me learning something new for you it could be anything that you choose it could be probably um you know a some sort of coding or probably it could be you know going to some sort of hobby class or maybe anything yeah it really doesn't matter choose an area that you feel that you don't know and go ahead and diligently and uh, sincerely pick it up and try to learn it because learning is very very important now how can you do this you can do this through online workshops you can do this uh, with byjuice we have so many things happening over here expand your knowledge take that time to go ahead and do it and challenge yourself see the thing over here is that learning something new sometimes can make us feel not very good why because for learning something new we have to move outside our comfort zone and 
who likes to move out of their comfort zone, right? But the point is no pain, no gain. If we don't move outside our comfort zone, we're never going to learn. And learning is so important because at some point in time, that you know, that knowledge, whatever that knowledge is, is going to help us in life, whether we know it or we don't, right? So go ahead, challenge yourself, move outside your comfort zone, and this will definitely help you. With that, we move on to the last habit, which is Ta -da! time management. Now, I've actually been talking to you about time management quite a bit, even in the past four habits, because what have I been saying? I've been saying that for everything, you need to set aside some time, right? Whether it is for the reading, whether it is for the creativity, whether it is for learning something new, whether it is for physical activity, whatever it is, you actually have to set that time aside. Now, some people say, oh ma'am, but I have no time in the day. I am so busy. I'm saying, what are you doing? First of all, understand what you are doing during the day. Make a calendar, make a schedule for yourself, right? And with, when you make a schedule, you'll actually able to see, you'll actually be able to see what are the things that you're spending time on and what are the things that you should spend time on more, right? So for example, put down the reading, put down the physical activity, put down the creative expression, put down probably, if, you know, some sort of preparation that you need to do for the upcoming year. Put down time even for rest and relaxation. And what you then need to do is you basically need to follow that schedule very, very sincerely based on the priority, correct? Okay, then... You can use tools to actually make the schedule. So for example, uh, nowadays there are a whole lot of online tools that you can use and uh, I use a very simple tool. So what I tend to use is I tend to use my calendar. Now in my calendar, for example, what I tend to do is I have color codes for different things. So for example, when, uh, you know, when I've got a meeting, then I put the meeting in, for example, purple color. Or when I've got a live session, then I put it in a bright yellow color because that's what makes me happy. If it is, you know, a holiday, then I put down in green. So sometimes what happens is you're very busy and you just pick up the calendar and you're like ah okay okay two purples and one yellow which means I know exactly what I'm doing for the day so that color coding one though it makes me feel happy and secondly it's a really good tool to use in terms of actually organizing your day you will be able to see how much time you're spending on each sort of task right so this is very important and uh, when, when we talk about tasks I'm saying create a deadline for yourself don't just keep pushing it pushing it pushing it because if you say later I'll do it later later maybe never okay so uh, go ahead and do it right now create the schedule go ahead and sincerely work on that schedule and go ahead and finish that task uh, once again, prioritize your activities. This is very, very important. You will know what you have to do, right? So go ahead and set time aside for yourself based on what is important. But always remember to set time aside even for your rest and relaxation because rest and relaxation is also a very, very important part of, of, of everything actually because if we don't rest and relax, then everything else starts seeming very stressful and tiring. So I'm saying... Do lots of things, create that calendar, but take time for a break also. And with that, we have finished our five habits to inculcate during the vacations. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun telling you about this. By the way, these are five things that I'm making sure that I do all the time also. So you go ahead and do the same. With that, this is me just about to sign off. Now, you know that we do a whole lot of sessions for you. We've, uh, for example, we have, you know, on our channels, both 6 to 8 and 9 to 10, we have quizzes, we have strategy sessions, we have, you know, practice questions, concept and practice questions. Now, where are all these sessions? Well, we have a repository for you and the link over here is in the description box. Go ahead and access all these sessions. This is another thing that you can do. Prepare for the upcoming year by going ahead and visiting or revisiting all these sessions. It will be very, very helpful for you. And as always, definitely like, share and subscribe. I'm going to see you around. Bye-bye.